Welcome back to the Mickelson Racing Channel. This week we're going to wash this thing up, vacuum it all out, get it all nice and clean like a show car. We're going to take it for a little drive, make sure everything freaking works real nice. Huh. Shouldn't have done that, I guess. <laughs> that was dumb. Wow. Nothing but content over here. And go figure I would do it that far away from the freaking house too dummy without further ado let's get this thing out of the garage and over to the wash station way down by the barn we can get this thing washed up ready to go <laughs> thing actually moves around pretty nice clutch works really good it's nice and smooth but as you can tell once it warms up just a little bit it's got this crazy surge to it hear that when you start it up at when it's cold it's fine there's reverse a lot of speed in reverse put it in gear though and look no surge only when it idles it's got a crazy surge. Brakes work good. Interesting. Just a little interesting. It also idles really high. Might have something to do with it. I'm gonna park right here because I don't want to be in the mud. We're just going to use some of this Chemical Guys soap, uh, Extreme Maxi Suds 2. Not sponsored, I just like the way it smells. Out here. Let's see if the surge goes away. Huh. 
Shouldn't have done that, I guess. <laughs> that was dumb. Wow. Nothing but content over here. Go figure we'd have starter problems. And go figure I would do it that far away from the freaking house, too. Dummy! Don't even have anybody out here to help push started either. Gosh. <sighs> Dead in the water. I'll bet that starter's loose down there. Man, oh man. I can see the starter bolt backed out. Let's see if I can zoom in here for you. See that starter bolt? Right there. Right down in there. Come on. You can tell that sucker's backed out. <sighs> Nothing but content over here. Man, some guy should have wrapped these wires so they don't look as terrible. We'll handle that. Let us take a moment to appreciate the beautiful nature that I have right here in my driveway. Beautiful long driveway like this here. And a little pond to the right. Got a little slew to the left. I just saw a duck fly out of there. You get a lot of deer up in here. A lot of times some pheasants out there. We got some cows up yonder. Neighbor folks got some goats and stuff. There's a birdie. Oh yeah. All sorts of nature. Oh, and then we got some dead Nissan 240SXs down there. Beautiful walk. Beautiful walk home. Is this what they call the walk of shame? Not really up to date on that terminology, but I've heard the phrase before. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go get a uh, 16 millimeter. Tighten up a couple bolts. Oh, we made it. All right, let's tighten this sucker up. Nice and tight. Alrighty, well, that solves that problem. Let's see if this thing will start. We can make it back down the driveway now. Maybe even solve the surging issue. All right, come on. Uh-oh, gosh dang. A little less than ideal news. This is the top bolt of the starter. Fell out on the ground. Got a rough time getting that in. I don't think we're gonna make it as a roadside repair so see if we can't push this thing home i guess gosh dang it <sighs> oh geez this thing is actually kind of heavy and we're on gravel so that's definitely not helping what are the odds i can pop start it i don't know if i can push it that fast oh i should go find a motorized vehicle <sighs> you just tow it back hold reliable here hopefully it'll get us home i don't know See what it'll do. This side to be good. And the car's not going straight. It kind of figures, I guess. Maybe my girlfriend can help me pop start it. Okay, we got my girlfriend. She's gonna help us pop start this thing. Put it in second gear. All right, we're gonna get ready to try here.
try to get this thing back in the garage now. Oh, first gear. All right. Second. Yeah. Third. Fourth. And fifth. All right. Downshift to third. We are back in here in the garage because I got the heat on. We live in North Dakota and it is the beginning of June and it was 32 degrees out last night. So pretty chilly, not gonna lie. Anyway, that's not why you guys were here. You guys are here because the starter just fell off and you wanna know what it did to resolve that. So I'll let you in on a little secret. The guy that designed this whole header system over on the passenger side Really didn't uh, design it for uh, serviceability, as you could say. So I had to pull the entire header off of the car. So I had to pull the header off of here and off of the bottom, pull the collector out, pull the manifold bolts out, and pull the bolt out that we tapped that I broke the first time. So I could drop the header out so that I could get to the starter. Uh, you can get to the bottom starter bolt, but the top starter bolt is the one that you can't get to with the header on. So anyway, not a problem. We did that, and I dropped the starter out, and I figured out that my starter bolts were too short. So that's why they fell off. They were only engaged like one thread. And uh, yeah, so anyway. This is the old starter bolt. This is uh, an inch, inch long bolt. And then I had a lock washer and a washer on there. So I only had, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so uh, left a thread on there. And I measured the thread depth and I had an inch of thread depth inside the bell housing. And then I measured the starter and I had a half inch. So I had an inch and a half of depth um, before I bottomed out and I was only using a three-quarter inch bolt basically after all the washers and stuff around here so that wasn't gonna work luckily I found on that table right over there because I'm a hoarder I found two m10 by one and a half inch and a half long bolts you know I, I guess they're not really an inch and a half because they're metric so that's something like 38 millimeters just guessing, just guessing. Anyway, found those, put the washers on, tapped out uh, the, the holes in the bell housing, so they were all nice and clean, and then uh, ran those bolts in there, got them tighter than I ever got these short bolts, and so I'm real confident that that's not gonna be a problem now. Pretty happy with that, now that's sorted. So good to go. Uh, and then we got the car all wonky donkey. We got the back end up on two pieces of steel got the front end up it's all at an angle the back rear should be touching the ground yes it is because this car is so low jacking it up seems to be a pretty big problem but no big deal we got it jacked up and now we're ready to jack it down jack it down let it down whatever it's fine we'll get it down on the ground and then this thing will be good to freaking go won't have to worry about that again thank goodness all right, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. We'll get this thing back down on the ground. Oh, I almost forgot. Remember how we're keeping a list? Got body on the list. Got a body on the car. Screw you, body. So it looks like Nissan 240 list. She's a driver, folks. Well, we fixed the starter for good, and I'm going to freaking prove it to you. <laughs> Woo!
Well, we washed the 240 up and this thing turned out really freaking nice. I'm super excited with how well the paint turned out for being old and dusty and really not that good looking to begin with. We also took this thing for a drive and kind of worked out the first drive gremlins that you have when you build a car and you test it for the first time. So we got some of those worked out and now we're, we're ready to go. This thing drives so nice as you guys saw. Now that we got the issues figured out, it drives even better. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, which you can do right here in the corner of this video. Also, don't forget to check out Mickelson Racing Channel merchandise in the link below in the description. We'll see you next week on the Mickelson Racing Channel.